I want to hear about this personal knowledge management system that you're cooking. So what what are you doing? You've got all your yeah. notes in Obsidian, which is local first markdown. What are you doing? Well, it's a bunch of markdown files. That's its deal. Um, it takes this to an extreme, which is maybe a little bit extreme for me at times, but it's I've, I've kind of made it work. Um, but yeah, so obviously it's all markdown files. So, I mean, they've just stepped in mm -hmm. shit here, right? Like it's, it's yeah. time has come. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, you fire a clod up in that folder and it can do anything. It can read everything. It can make summaries. It can reorganize it for you. Mm -hmm. So this is the part where like, I've been mostly in Notion. Notion has some AI stuff, but it can't like reorganize stuff very effectively and things like that. Whereas this could just use all your command line tools. It can move things around. Oh, it's all in Git, which I love. It's like, you hate to do a big, Oh yeah, move yeah, yeah, yeah. in your notion because it's like, well, if you don't like the way it turns out, now you're stuck just trying to move it back. Like you have no yeah. recourse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this is like, no, I could just like Claude go crazy in there, reorganizing stuff. And if I don't like it, I just kill it all off and restore from Git, and I'm good to go. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I mean, mostly I have like ideas, I have um, like places I want to visit, like whether it's restaurants, hotels, vacation spots, whatever. I kind of keep that all in there. Um, a big thing they added is this thing called bases. So it's kind of like a notion table. And oh. so that's kind of nice. They went yeah, they so, went in on it, huh? I know for a long time they so didn't have that. So it's sort of weird. Um, it's not exactly like a proper mm. database. Uh, it's it's basically a database looking view, but it's still every row is a markdown file. So it's a little crazy because sometimes yeah, you just out. want an actual mm -hmm. database of just like bits of text, and not, it does. It's kind of weird for that because like everything's a markdown file. Every row yeah. is so a markdown file. So you're just viewing your your markdown files in a different way. And then are you mucking about with like uh, front matter? Yeah, like I mean, YAML that's what they use matter? for all the properties and everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so huh. I hate that stuff, which is where Claude comes in, right? So it's like I don't have to mess with the front matter anymore. I just send Claude in yep. there. And it cleans stuff and it adds front matter to where I want it and it does all that stuff and it's great.